Yes, it's Mrs. Nelson. So now we want to create a scatter chart and we want to compare the diagonal of the square to the area. And you'll notice that they're separated. We've got the columns between them. So I don't want to just highlight from one spot to the next. Oops, that was accidental. I didn't want to drag it either. I don't want to highlight that because I don't want all that data in my scatter chart. I could drag it like you saw me accidentally do. I could drag and, and reposition those columns so that they're right next to each other. That's always an option as well. But another thing that we can do is that you can click on the column of data that you want to use and then hold down your control key. So CTRL control next to your space bar. Hold down the control key and click on the other column that you want to use. So again, we want to compare the diagonal to the area and then we're going to insert our chart and if it doesn't choose um, a scatter chart which it did for me remember you can let me slide this so you can see it you can change the chart type from the drop down right here in our chart editor but it did choose in fact a scatter chart and now that you have that scatter chart you can look at it and make your observations for the next part of your task thanks for learning